This is the sawdust feeder experimental system for the workshop rocket heater. It's taken a few attempts, but it seems to be approaching some sort of stability. It's obviously a square hopper. Uh, this is an old oscillating multi-tool. Um, 12 volts and it's being controlled by a simple Ar Arduino um, which has a potentiometer that sets the delay and a MOSFET on the back of that heat sink that drives the motor The tool is attached to this bar, which is welded to the hopper, but also to a vertical bar that runs all the way down to a grate that sits at that level. Um, and that shakes, obviously shakes the dust and does something to keep, keep it flowing. I am still getting uh, some evidence of bridging um, you know sometimes the, 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 the dust sticks in the hopper <coughs> and the the size of the granules like dust isn't too bad but planings which I get a lot of does tend, does tend to bridge more than, than the dust um, I have a little spy hole here which uh, is good because I, I can tell just by looking at that if the dust is still flowing uh, which clearly it is there lovely secondary grate made out of a piece of mesh that you can see uh, that sits underneath the shaker grate and that's just there uh, to make sure that if for some reason it clumps uh, then the clump doesn't collect on the floor of the burn chamber and gradually build up and cut off the airflow. Uh, I do have an oil feeder installed now, which is this baked bean tin and a rudimentary filter in the form of a sieve. So I pour oil in there and a little tap that drips down into this tray that has some uh, refractory ceramic fibre as the wick. So I use that as a, to get it started in the morning turn it on and off, uh, you know, give it a little bit of extra boost, um, but you know, after, yeah, once the, the grate has got hot enough to uh, gasify the dust that's immediately adjacent to it, um, the oil feed is not necessary uh, but it is quite a nice addition to the system the oil feed uh, at the moment it is unfortunately using engine oil um, but as soon as I find some waste vegetable oil I'll be using that instead oh, we have got a little bit of collection going on there behind underneath the grate um, so at this stage I turn the interval so if I turn that up now now you'll hear that the shaker 
is much less frequent. Okay, so I can feel the hit system is up to temperature. The radiator at the other end of the workshop, which runs from that central heating pump down a couple of hose pipes to the radiator behind my desk, that's all up to temperature. So I'll turn this, I've turned it, turn the shaker down, which is effectively the throttle, um, just to slow it down a bit, make the fuel last a bit longer, and see if that clears the build-up of dust on the bottom a little. It, I think it's kind of a bit self-regulating the dust, the, the build-up on the bottom, because if it builds up too much, uh, it reduces the gap, which increases the airspeed, which takes more, you know, gives you a, a, a hotter burn and whisks away the particles of incoming dust quicker and takes them to the back of the chamber. Obviously, the huge advantage is if I can, you know, if it does work consistently and reliably, then it's less visits and the fuel is more of a fluid, which means, you know, you can fill up the hopper once in the morning and not have to keep checking it to make sure it hasn't gone out.